What's up guys, it's Angelo and a lot of you have been asking for this so today you're gonna find out exactly how I keep track of all my peer-to-peer -peer learning accounts and how I calculate the returns every month. I'll show you how you can easily track the performance of your investments and calculate the actual internal rate of return on your money. That way you don't have to rely on the return percentages you see when you log into several platforms as those can differ quite a bit from your own calculations. One reason for that is that many calculations on the platforms themselves don't take potential cash drag into account, meaning money that is sitting in your account waiting to be invested. But if you're anything like me, chances are you want to know the actual returns you're getting on your investment to identify the peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms that are really worth your time and money. Before we get into the details, you can find links to everything I mentioned down in the description below. And don't forget to hit the like button if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I've been using a free open source software called Portfolio Performance to keep track of my peer-to-peer -peer investments. It's available for all platforms. And even though it's from Germany, the software is actually in English once you download it. I also added a Google Translate link down below where you can translate the entire website if you want to. So once you're done downloading and installing Portfolio Performance, here's what you need to do to set it up. You create a new file, choose a currency, euro. The securities account doesn't really matter, but you still need to enter something. So I'm just gonna write cash here. In the reference account, we can just put our first peer-to-peer -peer platform. In this case, I'm gonna add Mintos. I'm gonna add this and then I'm gonna click on finish. Now, if you want, you can even delete your securities account since in our case, it doesn't really matter. And here you can see your deposit accounts and the first one being Mintos. Here we're gonna add all the platforms that we're invested in. If you want to add a new account, you just click on the plus sign here on the right side, add account, and then you type the name of the platform. And now here's how we're gonna add deposits, withdrawals, and interest payments for each platform. First select a platform, in this case Mintos, right click here, click deposit. And now let's say we added some money on the 3rd of October. We added 500 euro. We're gonna click on save. And now it's gonna show up as a deposit down here and make sure to add the deposits for each platform at the specific dates that the money was deposited. An easy way to check this is actually to review your emails as you oftentimes get an email from the platform saying that your money has been deposited successfully. The same thing goes for withdrawals. Let's say we withdrew some money, then we're gonna click on removal, choose the time, let's say it was the 10th of October, and we withdrew 150 euro from our account. I'm gonna save that like this. And now you can see it's gonna show up as a removal. This is the withdrawal and the new balance. And now the easiest way to track, in my opinion, is to set a specific time each month where you compare your current balance on a platform to the month before and add the difference as interest. This shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes of your time. Hey Google, remind me on the first of each month at 6 p.m. to update my peer-to-peer -peer portfolio. All right, I'll remind you on the first day every month at 6 p.m. Now let's say we decided to update our portfolio on the first of each month and today is the first of November. Then we're gonna go check the account balance on our Mintos account and if it shows 356 euro for example we're gonna add 6 euro as interest. First of November, 6 euro gross value, safe. By the way if you have very little time that day you can also quickly log into each of your accounts, take a quick screenshot and add the numbers later when you have time. Now, if you have existing accounts, which is likely the case for most of you, of course it's gonna take you a little while to set everything up, but it's still going to be way less effort than using, let's say, Excel to track everything. For the exact dates of your deposits and withdrawals, you can either get that information by doing a platform search within your own emails, or get the information on the platforms themselves together with the payments you received. Let's start with Mintos. So to see the deposits, withdrawals, and interest payments on a monthly basis, we're gonna click on account statement and we're gonna enter a start and end date from month to month. So in this case, I set the 2nd of January until the 1st of February. You can also track from the first of the month until the last of the month if you want, but this is how I've been doing it. Then we're gonna click on search and now we're gonna add the interest we received, the late fees we received, and interest income on rebuy as interest for that month. And if you also received an investment bonus, it's up to you if you include that in your calculations. I personally do. And by the way, on Mintos, if you click here on deposits, you're gonna see the exact dates of your deposits. Let's take a look at how to get the information from other platforms. In this case, Yubo Group. Here again, I set a date of the 2nd of December until the 1st of January, so one full month. I filtered it. And here we're gonna add late fees received, interest received and early interest repayment as interest for that month. And here you can also find the exact date of your deposits by clicking on deposits here. For Investia, we're gonna click on statistics and we're gonna see the income statement. Once again, we're gonna choose a full month and download the document. And here's what that looks like. And here you can see the interest income plus the bonus you got for that month, which we're gonna add as interest. And as a last example, here's group here. Here we're gonna click on income statement. We're gonna enter a full month again, click download. And here's what that statement looks like. Here we can see the interest income for the month summarized. Otherwise you get all the single payments which you have to add up yourself. 
In Group Peer's case, it's probably easiest if you add the deposits and withdrawals with the correct dates from the emails that you got. And here's what my portfolio performance looks like after over a year of tracking. And here under performance, I set it up to track the internal rate of return on all of my accounts. To set this up in our new account, we're gonna click on performance. I'm gonna click on adding a new view. I'm gonna call it P2P portfolio. Okay. Sadly, in this case, we can't delete all of this at once. At least I haven't found it yet. And we're just gonna delete all of this one by one. And now we're gonna add a widget for every platform that we're invested in. Mintos, group here, and for example, Investio. And since we only have three columns here, if you wanna add more, just click on new column, and then it's gonna squeeze things a bit together. Okay, so now we wanna know the interim rate of return on our Mintos account so far. So we're gonna do a right click, add a new widget, performance, and interim rate of return. Here we have to make sure that we're choosing the right data series. We want to know just Mintos in this case, before, after tax, it doesn't really matter in this case. And for the reporting period, we wanna set exactly the dates when we made our first deposit until the last time we tracked the interest we received. So 3rd of October until the 1st of November. We right click, new reporting period, 3rd of October, 2019 until the 1st of November. And here's our interim rate of return so far. Now let's say it's the 1st of December and we're adding the account balance difference as interest. Then we also need to update our interim rate of return here. And we're gonna keep the date when we started our investment and just change until to the 1st of December. Now if you want to know the interim rate of return of our entire peer peer portfolio, we're gonna add a widget here as well, interim rate of return. And here as data series, it already selected the entire portfolio but I'm just gonna select it again. And once again, we're gonna use the same reporting period from our first investment in peer-to-peer -peer until today, which in this case is this one. And by the way, of course, in this case, I haven't added the any other numbers for other platforms. But once you're done setting everything up, it might look very similar to what I have here. This is my personal portfolio. And here on a platform by platform basis, the reporting period starts with the day where I made my first deposit. And for my entire peer-to-peer -peer portfolio, I also set up a monthly return heat map, which you can also set up by choosing new widget, performance, and monthly returns in a heat map. Just make sure you select the correct data series. And here's some other nice features of the software. Here under calculation, you can see all your interests you received so far, deposits and withdrawals. And here you can of course set the date again that you wanna calculate from. You can just select one year or exactly from a specific date. Under earnings, you can also see on a month by month basis the income that the platforms generated for you. You can also check that out by quarter, by year. And this view right here can be very motivating if you get to compare your returns with the previous year. And last but not least, under reports and holdings, you get a very nice overview of all of your investments and the percentage allocation that each platform has in your portfolio. As you can see for me, Mintos is still my largest position by far. Now that you're done setting everything up, it should take you very little time to keep track of your investments and your returns in the long run. As always, all the links that I mentioned are down in the description below. And if you'd like to support me, that's also where you can find links to some platforms that I'm invested in. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe if you wanna see more in the future. Until next time.